Have you ever felt like you're living a double life? Where one part of you is deeply connected to your spiritual path, while the other is still holding onto your old habits and ways of being? If so, you're not alone. Welcome to the in-between stage of spiritual awakening. When we begin our spiritual journey, we often experience a sense of excitement and curiosity. We start meditating, doing our yoga, reading spiritual books, attending workshops, and seeking guidance from teachers and gurus. We start feeling a shift as well in our consciousness, don't we? And we become more aware of our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Well, as you enter the in-between stage of your spiritual awakening journey, you may start feeling like there's a split in you. On one hand, you're drawn to the spiritual path and the wisdom that it offers, but on the other hand, you feel like you're not ready fully to let go, perhaps, of that old life. You may feel like you're living a double life, where you have to keep your spiritual practices and beliefs separate from your, quote, <laughs> normal life. This split can cause a lot of tension and discomfort within you. You may feel like you're not fully yourself yet, like you're wearing a mask or, or playing a role perhaps. You may feel like you're hiding your truest self from other people that are meant to be perhaps the closest to you. So you, you don't really feel like you fit in where you are. And that becomes incredibly lonely. You may not even be alone which is even worse sometimes, isn't it? Many people around you in your close vicinity, perhaps that you, you can't connect with any longer because perhaps the nature of their offerings of conversation is, is not to the required depth in a way to satiate your soul or perhaps just not even of any interest to you. In addition to this internal conflict, you may also be struggling with perhaps your career. You may be in a job or a profession that's really not aligned with your innermost self and that doesn't particularly reflect your values, your passions, or what perhaps your blueprint is starting to say is your purpose. You, you may feel like you're wasting your time and your energy or that you're not making perhaps a difference in the world. And, and all of this stuff all happening at once can create a lot of tension and confusion for you. You're not alone with that. You may feel like you're stuck, like you, you don't really know what to do or, or where to go. And you may feel like you're losing your sense of direction or that you've been drifting aimlessly. The in-between stage of our spiritual awakening can be a time of intense growth and transformation, but it can also be a time of great discomfort, uncertainty and confusion because it's likely the time where you begin to drop away a little bit from those old friendship groups and begin questioning that, perhaps the career or the relationship that you're in. So it can leave you feeling pretty bewildered and, and pretty unstable. But, but it's a time when you do have to face those fears, I'm afraid, and not really I'm afraid because it's a good thing. We want to be free of fear. This is a journey of freedom. We have to face those doubts, those perceived limitations. And in a sense, you have to make a choice between staying in your comfort zone or stepping into the unknown. So what happens next? Well, your journey may involve a crisis or two, or perhaps a, a turning point where you have to choose between your old life and the new one that's being set forth from your inner potentiality in a way. You may be facing a major challenge, like perhaps a health issue, a relationship problem, or a financial setback, or even a spiritual or existential crisis. You, you may feel like you've hit rock bottom, truly like you've nothing left in a way to lose. And that can be quite an empowering place to be, but of course it's still full of that uncertainty. It's a little bit scary. But also you may be facing a moment of great clarity where you begin to realize that you can no longer ignore your spiritual calling. You may feel a deep sense of purpose and mission, like you're meant to be doing something meaningful and impactful with the world. You may even feel a sense of urgency and responsibility towards that, like you have the potential to make a difference, and you do. But 
you just aren't doing anything about it yet. In either case, at some point, you will have to confront those deepest fears and doubts and choose to take a leap of faith or stay where you are. And the only way you can learn to trust the universe or that larger energy that's guiding you is to take that leap of faith and trust that the universe will put one foot in front of the other and that you're capable of overcoming any obstacle. No matter how many times you've taken a step into the unknown though, I guarantee you each time you will still feel that primal fear. I feel it every time. But what is it you want? I mean, you can either give up or rise up. You can either stay in your comfort zone or step into your power it's a moment where you choose how you're going to live. Either live a life of mediocrity and boredom that isn't satiating your soul anymore, or a life of adventure and greatness. Look, as we navigate through this in-between stage of your spiritual awakening, our aim is not to try and be perfect or transcendent, particularly in this stage, as transcendency at this point will likely just be ego avoidance. and. The ego will no doubt grab hold of also perfectionism and make your journey hell. But here, at this point in the journey, it's about coming into your full power and being vulnerably human to make a choice to see if I'm going to take a leap of faith and hold onto the hand of the infinite as I fall. Or to stay small and dissatisfied with life. And you know, sometimes we're not ready to take big decisions yet. Sometimes we're really frightened and that's fine. But here then, as we begin taking leaps of faith in time and notice that the infinite always puts solid ground under our feet, it may not always be what you expect, mind, but it will always be what you need. We start to trust life a bit and begin finding a balance between our spiritual and our material lives and they begin to become one. And we start integrating our insights and experiences into our daily existence. Now, the in-between stage of our spiritual awakening is not a curse. It's a gift. It's an invitation to explore the depths of our being, to discover our, our true purpose, to uncover our blueprint, and to embody our highest potential in life and learn to trust in life. And if that's something that interests you and you want to know about taking the next step on your journey, then you can find out a little bit more about that and how we've helped hundreds of aspirants on that path, you can find out how we do that in our free training series down below. But regardless of what you choose to do, this in-between phase should be a reminder, you know, that we're all on this journey together. Some that have been through these dark periods in their life of uncertainty pay it forward to you and say, it's all right on the other side, there's nothing really to worry about. And all that you lose anyway is that which is holding you back, for example, fear. So we go from fear and untruth into light and truth. And this is what the journey is about. So if you're on this spiritual journey, then you're going to find out if you haven't already that surrender is really important. Surrendering the ego's control into life. And it's not as scary as it seems, but that resistant nature inside of us can be painful uh, when it comes to surrendering to life. So we made a video about this here. This is about the end of resistance. And when you get this, surrender is effortless.